Hey guys, I am back with another video for you today. Today's video is going to be a fall clothing haul. I'm super excited um, to share this video with you. At first I was undecisive if I wanted to film this video because a lot of the pieces I got are pretty basic and there's nothing really fun about them. But I wanted to do this video for you because I wanted to help others out there because I know I needed a lot of help. When shopping, I swear it is so hard for me to put together an outfit because I'm very undecisive about the things that I want to buy or I'll go into a store and I'll see something on a hanger and think oh my god that's so cute and I'll purchase it and then never wear it like I'm trying to clean out my closet right now and I have so many things in there that have tags on them that I've never worn that I bought last year and I bought it because it was really cute so shopping these days I've been really like kind of smart about the way I'm picking out my pieces I know that I like comfort I love comfortable clothing. I love basic pieces like this basic black tee that I'm wearing. I'm all about just basic pieces. So I figured why not style my basic pieces with just accessories instead of buying like a really cute jacket that I'm never going to wear and it's so uncomfortable. So that's where I'm at right now. So I've been shopping around and I've kind of collected a few pieces and at the time when I was buying them and I was thinking maybe I should do a haul, I was like I'm not going to haul this stuff because some of it's really boring. But I can also give you a few tips on how I, myself, have been styling some of these basic pieces. So maybe it can help some of you guys out there too that really like, you know, the comfort of clothing, the really basic pieces. You don't want to really put that much thought into your outfit. You know, if you throw on a t-shirt and it looks too plain, what can you do to kind of like dress it up a little bit? So that is what I'm going to do in this video today for you. So I hope you all enjoy this video. So I will just go ahead and get started before I start talking too much. Um, first, I want to start with a few things that I bought, just a few little things. One is this cup right here. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you guys will know that I snapped and took a picture of this and posted it on my Instagram. I love this cup right here. It's from Starbucks. If you guys love all black, get your hands on this cup. It is amazing. I, I'm obsessed with Starbucks cold cups. Um, so this one right here, when they came out with an all matte black cup, I was like, heck yeah, I'm getting my hands on it. I know in my area, three of the Starbucks is are sold out of this cup but they do still have it online so if you want it get your hands on it go to Starbucks and order it online it's amazing all right next I picked up a watch from Fossil um, I've been wanting an all silver watch and I figured why not go to Fossil and get it they had a really good deal on all their watches I didn't want to spend a ton of money on an all silver watch but I wanted it to be a really good quality watch um, but the reason why I didn't want to spend too much money on it was because I don't wear silver that much there are a few pieces um, in my collection that I do have, like a little pair of boots that I have that have silver detailing on them. I have a leather jacket that I just purchased. It has silver detailing on it. So I wanted like a silver watch to kind of accessorize those outfits when wearing those pieces. Um, I do have my Michael Kors watch right here, which I wear all the time because I wear, you know, a lot of pieces where I can incorporate, you know, my gold pieces. But when it comes to silver, I don't wear it that much, so I didn't want to spend a ton of money on it. So I thought that this was the perfect watch. It was regularly $135, but they had 50% off. I think it was $125 or $135. It came up to like $60, and I really, really love this watch. It's just an all-silver watch, and then it has like the diamond studs around it. It's beautiful. It's very clean. It's very simple, and it's a very good watch, so I really, really enjoy it. And then I also want to add a few more Alex and Ani like silver bracelets to my collection over here so I can just kind of like mix and match them when I'm wearing my silver watch. So I picked that up at Fossil. And then next I picked up this really amazing hat that you guys have all seen on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. This hat is from Gia Monet. You can follow Gia Monet on um, Instagram. I believe she has a store in Victoria Gardens. I'm not sure, but I just thought that this hat was really cute. Again, I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit when it comes to accessorizing um, because I don't do it very often, but I really love pieces like this. I saw this on Lester Lux's channel. If you don't follow her, I'll link her channel down below. She's amazing. I love her so much. She's so down to earth, but I love her style. Her style is just out of this world. I love it. So I picked up this hat because I saw it on her channel and I had to have it. And I think it's just a really cute hat. Like, it's just a very, like, cute hat. It's not even straight at all. But it's a very cute hat. I think it's adorable. Um, but, yeah, I like pairing this with just a pair of maybe yoga pants. You can wear this with some sneakers and a cute little, like, workout sweater. And you have, like, a really comfortable and casual outfit. Or if you want to wear some distressed denim, 
denim, denim, um, distressed denim with maybe like a basic tank top and a scarf and some sneakers and throw on this hat. Super cute. Again, it's like really easy to accessorize an outfit, even a comfortable and casual outfit, which is something like this and a scarf. So I picked that up from GMO Nay. All right, next I picked up a pair of sneakers that I have been wanting to get my hands on, but I really do not like Converse. I hate Converse. I think they're the most uncomfortable shoe in the world. They make my foot look funny. I don't know what it is about them, but I came across the Converse slip-ons, and these ones for some reason just are so super cute. They don't make my foot look super long. Like the regular Converse that you have to tie, for some reason make my foot look super long. These ones right here don't make my foot look like that at all. I love them. I love that they're just casual, they're comfortable. You can dress these up with a pair of distressed denim, maybe like a camo top and your hat if you want to and just a regular scarf and you have yourself a really nice, comfortable, fall, casual outfit. Um, I live in California so I can't really wear the heavy layering pieces so I go for more lighter pieces because lighter pieces are, you know, you're gonna stay warm out here in California, but at the same time, you know, you're gonna be comfortable. So I hate wearing big, heavy jackets. So I'm glad I don't live in an area where I have to wear a big, heavy jacket because I don't know what I would do. So I just like to layer pieces. So especially when you don't wanna throw on a pair of boots every single time you get ready, like that drives me crazy during the fall and winter months. I'm always like, really? I'm gonna wear a pair of jeans, I'm gonna wear a tank top, or. I'm sorry, a t-shirt and a sweater, and I have to throw on some boots. I feel like when I throw on boots, my top has to be a little bit more dressy or, you know, just look a little more decent than I, I would just with just a regular, like, sweatshirt with a hoodie. So I wanted to find a pair of sneakers that I can just throw on with maybe just a casual sweatshirt, some jeans, and that's it. You're good to go because let's get real. I do not wear boots every single day of my life just to go run some errands. So... I really wanted to find a sneaker that I can throw on, which is something, you know, like a sweatshirt and some jeans, and I'm good to go. So I really, really, really love these. I got mine at Famous Footwear, and I think they're cute. They come in several different colors. Um, they have black, they have gray, they have a really, really, really light gray, and then they have this color. So if you are looking for some really cute sneakers, I highly recommend trying these out right here. All right, next, talking about denim, I had been looking for some really, really good pants like denim and for me in the past I've always shopped American Eagle well not always but American Eagle has been my go-to because they cater to short people and I love that and they also cater cater to you know more curvier women so I'm curvy and I'm short and I love the fact that I can go in there I can find a size 10 12 and it's going to be in the length short if I can't find it in the store I know I can find it online so that's really good about American Eagle but their jeans have been just a little too uncomfortable for me in the past I don't like the way that their denim had felt it was stretchy but not stretchy enough to where they were comfortable for me to wear um, but recently American Eagle has come out with some really good jeans and these are the denim X jeans and inside these are the skinny jeans that I got, and they say AEO Denim X. So that's how you'll know that you're getting the Denim X is because inside, you'll find the X located inside the pants. And these are the skinny jeans that I picked up, and you can see they're kind of like faded in the middle right here a little bit. I absolutely love these jeans. What I love about these ones compared to their last ones, these ones are just a little more stretchier. They give a little in the waist, they give a little in the legs, but they do not loosen up entirely throughout the leg area. They move with you. So I really, really love these jeans right here. They're amazing jeans. In the past, I've had American Eagle jeans where I'll put them on and an hour later, they're loose from the leg down. Like everywhere, especially the knee, gets so loose. And I hate that because when you're trying to wear boots with jeans, especially skinny jeans or jegging, and they loosen up from you from the legs, you just look really sloppy from, you know, your leg down. And I don't like that. I hate when they make jeans like that. Why can't they just make a jean like this that just fits you all the way straight through your leg, moves with you, is comfortable all day, and doesn't loosen up throughout the day. So I found some jeans, and I think they finally like nailed it when they made these ones right here. They're super comfortable. Like Again, they move with you. They don't loosen up throughout the day. They're really com they don't dig into the side of your skin on your waist. Oh, it drives me crazy. These are just super comfortable. And then I also picked up this darker pair right here. These are the jeggings. And these are just, again, 
very dark denim. I was looking for a very dark, dark denim jean, and I found these ones, and these are just super cute. They're dark all the way through. There's no fading on them at all. Again, these are the Denim X. These are the jegging ones. Inside, they do say jegging. My other ones say skinny. And these, again, are so comfortable. They have that, like, stretch to them, but they do not, do not, <laughs> they do not loosen up at all. Um, throughout the day after wearing them. I wore these the other day and they're so comfortable. They are the most comfortable pants I've ever worn. And they are infused with some kind of odor protection or something like that where you don't have to wash them as much. So you're going to really keep the color um, in this jean a lot longer because of the fact that you do not have to wash it as often as you would like, you know, your old pair of jeans. So I really, really love these. And then I had also been looking for a really cute pair of distressed denim. Every pair of distressed denim that I go to find, I can never find the right color. It's always either too light or kind of like in between like a light and a lighter color. Like I just can never find the right color of jeans. I have been looking for a distressed denim that's kind of like in between light and dark to where you can wear with everything. And American Eagle did it again. This one is the Skinny Kick Jean. And again, it's that same X brand, but these ones are the X Cafe. Um, I don't really know. I tried to read up on them a little bit, and I don't really know what the X Cafe means, but these pants right here are the most comfortable distressed denim that I've ever found. Again, they have that stretch in them where they don't dig into the side of your skin. The distressing is placed in areas where I feel more comfortable with it being placed. Um, in the past, I've had some where it was placed right here, and again, I'm a little curvy, so my legs are a little thicker, and so my my leg would just pop out of it, and I hated that. So I like the way that the distressing is placed on these, and then on this leg, it's like there's a hole right at the knee, and then just this little spot right here. Again, these jeans are kind of like in between a dark and a light, but they're not too light, if that makes sense. I love them so much. Again, these pants do not loosen up throughout the day. They stay very fitted to your leg and they're very comfortable. They move with you. They're amazing jeans. I love them so much. So if you're looking for a good pair of distressed denim, highly recommend checking out American Eagle. They are a little pricey, but they, they're always running like a buy one, get one 50% off. Um, one pair of their jeans will cost you about $50 depending on the style of them. But again, I don't mind paying the price for a good pair of jeans if they're going to last me a long time and if they're really, really comfortable to wear. These ones I can dress down with a pair of sneakers like this and a t-shirt and a scarf and maybe my hat if I wanted to. Or I can dress it up by cuffing the bottom like this and wearing a cute little booty like this with, again, a basic t-shirt like this and throwing on a scarf and maybe a leather jacket and you have like your night outfit. It's really, really nice to be able to just throw on some basics. And I know I'm going to get use out of all my basics if I continue to do that and just layer them. As opposed to buying something that I'm never ever going to wear. So again, I really, really like these jeans. If you like these jeans, go check them out. I think they're well worth buying. Alright, next is a leather jacket that I have been wanting so bad. But every time I go to find leather jackets, they're so overpriced. I feel like they're so pricey. And this one is so cute. I got it at TJ Maxx. It was $39.99. And I think it's just a great jacket. Again, I work a lot, so I don't really get to wear a lot of these pieces every single day. So to have to buy something like a leather jacket for $199 or even like $60, it's like out of control for me because I'm not going to wear a lot because I do work a lot. So again, this is just a piece I've been looking for. It's really lightweight. It's not too heavy, but it's warm enough to wear over like maybe a t-shirt or even wear over like a really lightweight sweater, which is what I have been doing with this a lot lately. It's really, really comfortable. I have never found a denim or a leather jacket that is really comfortable and kind of moves with you. I always have to take off my jacket because I'm just so uncomfortable in it, but this one is really, really nice. Again, you can wear this with just a basic like t-shirt. You can throw this jacket on, you can throw your distressed denim on, and you can wear a booty like this with a scarf and you have yourself a really cute outfit. So again, it's dressing up those basics by just layering them and really making them cute with like some accessories. So really have been loving this. Again, I got this at TJ Maxx. If you're looking for a really good jacket, highly recommend going to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, anything like that. And I love the fact that it's just like super comfortable it's really lightweight. It has the zipper detail in here, but it's not too much. I love this jacket so much. All right, next, I picked up a few pieces from Cotton On. Um, 
I love the color black. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm obsessed with the color black. And this is just a really cute, lightweight black kind of long sleeve sweater. Again, it's really, really thin. So you can wear this with maybe a pair of boots. You can wear this with a pair of dark denim or something like that. And just throw on a scarf because it is, it's not really thin, but it is a little thicker. It's kind of in between. So you can just wear this with a little scarf over it and some boots and some jeans and you're good to go. And you're still gonna be warm. So really, really love this. I live in California, so having lighter pieces like this are essential in my wardrobe just because I feel like it doesn't get that cold out here. It gets cold, but not that cold. That's why I like finding pieces like this where I can just layer something over it. So I got this at Cotton On and I believe this was $25. Not a bad price at all. And then I picked up this at Cotton On too. And this is just, again, a very, very basic t-shirt. I picked up this one and I picked up the one I'm wearing right now. And it's just a v-neck tee, it's very nice material. These were only $10, like super, super cute. And again, you can wear this with anything. You can wear this with just like an open like hoodie t-shirt, maybe throw on some of your, you know, your sneakers and some jeans and a hooded tea, uh, sweatshirt and you're good to go. Or you can dress this up with a jacket or a sweater cardigan, throw a scarf on, throw on some boots and you're good to go with that too. Like with these ones, I would probably wear like maybe a boot like this. I think these are really cute. Like if you want, really wanted to go like that grunge style, which I really like lately, super cute. Or again, you can just like dress it down with maybe some sneakers and a hat or something. So I picked that up and then at Forever 21, I picked up this thermal wicking shirt. And at first I was kind of like, I didn't know about this at all because the way it fit, it fit like it flares out a little bit. Um, from like the waist down, it flared out just a little bit. But then I started thinking like, it would look really cute with my leather jacket and like maybe some shoes like this with some black denim. So I do wanna get my hands on some black denim. So I thought this was cute. And again, it's just a very basic piece. Um, but you can also wear this with like some black denim, a leather jacket. You can wear it with some boots or some boots like this really kind of make it grungy looking and throw on a scarf or something like that. Or you can just wear it by itself with a pair of jeans, maybe some sneakers again, I don't know. I just like to pick out pieces that I can interchange all the time, but always look a little different. So I don't know, I thought this was super cute. So yeah, it's kind of like a thermal and it's kind of like a grayish green color. It's really cute. And I got this with Forever 21 and it was $15. All right, next, there's some cute scarves that I got. I picked up this black one and I love the infinity scarves. I just love how easy they are to wear. This one was $10 and it's just an all black one. And I think these are just so cute. See that? They're just like complete circle, but you just throw these on with any kind of outfit. Again, you can wear these with like a basic t-shirt like I have on. I got this black one at Forever 21. And then I also got this one right here. Um, it's kind of like a burgundy one. It's showing up more red on camera, but it's kind of like a burgundy color. And again, it's that infinity style. And again, it's super cute. You can just like style this with a basic t-shirt and you have yourself a really, really cute outfit. Throw on some jeans and it's you're good to go. You see, you can dress up a basic t-shirt like this with just a very simple scarf like this. And it makes it like look really super cute. Makes it look completely different. So yeah, I got this one. I actually want to pick up some more of those. Well, there was a gray one that I wanted, but my best friend was like, three of the same scarf, that's a little excessive, so I left it. <laughs> so yeah, I really like that scarf. All right, next are um, a few pieces that I picked up. Flannels have been my thing lately. I don't know what it is about flannels, but I have been loving flannels um, lately, and I picked this one up at Charlotte Russe. It was like, I believe this was like $20. They were on sale and I thought this one was cute. I love the color in this one. It's kind of red, it's maybe blue, black, and then it's got like this tan color. Again, this is a super easy piece to wear with just a basic t-shirt underneath. Wear this over. You can throw on a pair of boots like this with some jeans and you're good to go or you can dress it down with some sneakers. So do not buy a ton of pieces. Do not buy a ton of shoes. Do not buy a ton of sneakers. Wear thing, buy things that you're gonna be able to interchange with di several different outfits. Because if you start spending money on so many shoes and so many different kind of like sweaters and stuff like that, you're not gonna wear them all the time. So I definitely recommend just picking out some very basic pieces and then buying pieces like this to layer over them. And then pick a few select shoes that you know you can wear with every single piece that you've chosen. So that's where I kind of like 
I did it smart this year when I started shopping because I, I just have so many clothes that I have never wore and I hate that I don't do that. So I'm looking for just layering pieces. I know that I have the shoes already. Like these shoes I bought last year. These ones I bought last year. Um, and then these ones right here I bought last year too, which I can still wear this year. So I, there's three pairs of shoes that I have right here that I don't have to repurchase because I already have them. And I'm just working my way with shopping and selecting pieces that I can like, you know, work around those shoes that I have. The only pair of shoes that I actually bought that are new are these ones right here, but I can also wear with everything that I have if I want to dress them down. So that's where I'm trying to go with like all of this right here is just buy pieces based on maybe some shoes that you already have in your closet, buy layering pieces based on maybe some basic t-shirts that you already have in your closet. So you're not spending a ton of money on trying to pick out outfits. like. Here, I know I can wardrobe anything here with any of the shoes that I have. So try and like pick out pieces based on already pieces that you have and that you own in your closet. So this one is really cute. And then I also picked up this one right here, which is kind of like a really like dark plum color with black and gray. I absolutely love this. It's so cute. Again, I would wear this with maybe like a white v-neck tee underneath it and just a pair of like maybe some black denim and a pair of boots. Be super comfortable. Maybe something like this. I don't know. It's really cute. I got that one at Charlotte Russe. And then I picked this one up at TJ Maxx. This one up at TJ Maxx, it was like $12 but it's all black and it's all red and I just really love this. This one is really comfortable. I can wear it closed or I can wear it open. I really love it. And again, you know, just wear it with something like this. Or if you want to wear it with just some jeans and button it up, wear it with some sneakers like this. Super cute, super simple, super easy to wear and it's comfortable. So I picked this one up as well. I think this one is super cute. It's like the camera is not doing any of these colors justice. This is kind of like a really pretty teal green with some cobalt blue going through it. It's really cute. I absolutely love it. You can dress this up or down. I would wear this with like some black denim with a white t-shirt underneath with a pair of boots or my sneakers. I just absolutely love this right here. Flannels are just my favorite these days. All right, next, let's bring this over here because it's getting a little far. All right, here is another piece. Very comfortable, casual piece. Got this one again from TJ Maxx. It's from the brand 90 Degrees. And I just think this, this is so cute. It's more of like a sweater that you would throw on if you were going to the gym or maybe after the gym you would throw this on. But I wore this with um, my black hat and I wore it with some sneakers and I wore it with some yoga pants and it was super, comfort super comfortable, super casual outfit. But yet it looked really put together. So I really, really like this piece right here. I want to get more pieces like this and maybe some different colors because I like it. It has the hood back here, but again, you can throw on your black hat with it or any hat that you own and just some sneakers and yoga pants and you have a really cute outfit. All right, next is some sweaters. These are some very thin sweaters. This one I got from American Eagle, low pricey but I really love the way that it fit and I love the color. It was super cute. Again, this is just something that you can wear with maybe a scarf over it or if you wanted to add a layering piece over it, you can add your leather jacket to it and make it really cute. This I would wear with like some boobies like this and maybe like some distressed denim or something like that. Like I think that's really cute. And again, I got that one at American Eagle. And then this one I picked up at Old Navy. This was again a really nice thin sweater that I can wear with a layering piece right over it or if it's not too cold out I can wear it with just a scarf maybe some jeans and some boots like this or I can throw on you know my camel colored boots like this with a dark pair of denim or if I wanted to keep it kind of cute but casual I can still throw on my sneakers with this and a cute little scarf with some denim super cute and super simple and easy I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these pieces which what which is what makes me extremely happy because I know I didn't spend money on just random pieces that I'm never gonna wear all right next are a few basic pieces these are the last two pieces that I have and this one right here I got at Old Navy and this one is really cute. It's just a very simple basic t-shirt. Again, you can wear this with just a scarf, some jeans, and some sneakers. Or you can dress it up and you can wear this with a pair of dark denim. You can wear your leather jacket with this or like a sweater cardigan over this and throw on a pair of boots. You can wear these boots with it. You can also wear a pair of boots like this with it. Like you can wear anything with this basic piece right here. So again, I got that one at Old Navy. 
Old Navy always has really good, good deals. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I can't talk. <laughs> they always have really good deals. Um, so I believe I got that shirt for like $4. And it's just a cute, basic, simple piece that I can dress up or down. So I mean, $4 for a t-shirt and I've already washed it and it held up really nicely. So if you can find some really good pieces at Old Navy, get your hands on them because they're amazing. And then this one I picked up at Target. I do have a camo shirt already, but I really wanted something more vintage looking, and this was um, part of their vintage collection. And I got mine in an extra large because I felt like just the regular large wasn't going to do it for me. I wanted something a little more loose around the waist, and this was $13, and it was super cute. Like, how cute is this? It's a camo vintage shirt. And again, I can dress this up or down. I can wear this with a pair of distressed denim or I can wear it with my dark denim, throw on my black scarf around here, add on some accessory pieces and I have myself like a really cute outfit. I can wear these with it or if I want to be a little bit more casual I can wear these with it or I can just wear it with a pair of denim and add my sneakers to it with a light cardigan over it or if I wanted to just wear it with no cardigan, no layering piece, I can just wear this with jeans, throw on my sneakers, and maybe throw on my Giamone hat. I don't know, whatever you want to do with this. I just think there's so many different ways to wear basic pieces like this. It's amazing. So I'm really happy with the police with the pieces. You see? Can't even talk. With the pieces that I selected this year, I think they're amazing. And when I continue to shop, that is how I'm going to have my mindset. I'm going to have my mindset on pieces that I can layer with, like really inexpensive basic pieces that I can definitely add my layering pieces to. If I have things in my closet already, like my shoes, what can I wear with these shoes that I won't have to purchase another pair of shoes? You don't need to buy a pair of shoes for every single outfit that you, that you want to wear. So just build your wardrobe around things that you already have and buy pieces that are pretty much inexpensive but that you can layer other pieces over or add accessories to like scarves and bracelets and watches and stuff like that. So those are all the pieces that I selected. I hope you all enjoyed this haul. I know a lot of the pieces were just very random and basic but again it's all about building that outfit and just adding cute things to it to make it like something different and something better, but still very easy, simple and casual and comfortable, which is what I go for most of the time. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.